Welcome everybody, Josh Powell here. This is another day and another episode of Amateur Pool. We've got a tap league match. This is my second tap league match ever. Uh, I got smoked on my first match, dropped down to a skill level five, and now I'm playing Marty Mendita. He is also a skill level five. Uh, so it's a race to four, both sides. We both have to win four. Uh, I won the lag. I'm getting ready to break. Let's go. I hope everyone's having a good day out there. Oh, I scratched on the break. I went with a head-on break. I don't know why. Just wanted to try it. Sometimes I do that, you know. I like to, to flirt with a head-on break every now and then. I'm usually a second ball break guy. But uh, this match, I wanted to start off with a head ball break because I had dreams of breaking and running on them. And uh, those dreams were quickly squashed when the cue ball went in the drink. Boy, in the drink. All right, so Marty's got ball in hand. This is Tap League. It's played at Grindstone Billiards Club. Uh, it's not a public club. It's a private club. The public can go in and play, um, but it's a private club. So uh, if you're ever in the Flint area, look up Grindstone Billiards. But keep in mind, it's a private club. So be respectful. Be respectful there, guys. You know? You know. You already know. All right, Marty's figuring out what he wants to do. The table is open. Uh, he's got ball in hand behind the line. It's not ball in hand anywhere uh, off the break. So uh, let's see what he decides to do here. I think he's looking at the one maybe. Oh, 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 he's putting ball in hand anywhere. I got to double check the rules. I'm pretty sure he got away with one on it on it here. I, I think he's supposed to be behind the line. Fairly sure. You guys who play tap, let me know. But I'm 99% certain he should have been behind the line there. So he got away with it. I didn't catch it. Um, so there it is, you know, <laughs> he got away with one. All right. He took solids though. He's actually got a pretty good looking table uh, And I think if he makes it to the eight ball, it'll go past the 13 into that. What we're seeing is the bottom right corner. Uh, he just got to figure out the three, six, two, one and land on the 13. Uh, he made a good starter choice there. Even if he didn't go behind the line, I mean, we can give him the benefit of the doubt and say, man, he, he just probably didn't know he's going to move that eight ball around a little bit. If that eight ball would have tapped the cue ball, that then would have been a foul. Uh, but in tap league, it's cue ball foul only. So just moving another ball is not a foul. Uh, moving the cue ball or hitting the cue ball, doing anything with the cue ball is a foul. Uh, but the fact that he tapped the eight ball by itself is not a foul. But if the eight ball hits the cue ball, pow, it's a foul. You know, you know, little Timmy already, bro. Hope everyone's uh, had an awesome week. If you didn't catch my stick giveaway video, you have until February 12th of 24, obviously, uh, to, to leave a comment, watch that video. He hit the eight again with the stick, but again, not a foul, guys. Um, but the good thing is he moved it so it won't actually go in that corner anymore. Anyway, check out my uh, my last video. I'm giving away a, an action cue and a case. I think total is about a $250 value on that. So that's going to go to one of you guys free of charge. I will ship it out. All you got to do is watch that video, be publicly subscribed, and comment. You'll know what to comment when you watch the video. You know, if you don't watch the video, you, you're not going to comment the right thing. So you got to watch. You got to watch, little Timmy. Set up that way on purpose, bro. You got to watch, you know? <laughs> you know. All right. So he bumped the eight ball. He screwed the eight ball up. It, it did have a way it would go past the 13 before. But since he's bumped it and he moved the 13, I don't think it goes there now. I'm up at the table. I missed something when I was talking to you guys. I missed something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to pay attention here, guys. My first tap league match was El Harible, and I promise you this one's not the same. It gets better. But my first two shots so far, scratch a Rooney, scratch a Rooney, you know? So he's got ball in hand again, but lucky for me that, like we said, that eight ball is not in the best position ever. Um, he did make the one. He came back over. He's got good shape on the two with straight top. He should get good shape on the six. But herein lies the problem. He's got to get to that eight ball. He's got to figure out where he wants it to go. He's looking at maybe seeing if it'll go in that side pocket up there on the right. Or if not, I think if he gets down there where he's looking, he might be able to bank the eight cross side. 
That's really about all I see here unless, yeah, it's about all I see. <laughs> unless, no, it's about it. All right. Oh, he missed the six ball. He jabbed at that stroke. I think in his mind he was thinking more about the shapes and didn't focus on the shot. That happens. Happens to all of us, guys, you know. All right. Let's see if I can get my uh, head out of my arse and play some pool here. I'm shooting at that 10 in the side. Nice and easy. Leave myself for the 13. It's a good shot. My sinuses have been jacked up, guys. Last week here it was zero degrees. This week it's like 45 degrees. So the weather is jacking me up, man. Ooh, I kind of felt bad on that one. Um, I'm not 100% certain, but if I can shoot the 14 next, pass, if I can get past the eight ball and shoot the 14, I can still get out here. If not, it's a pretty easy safety. I'm look, looks like I'm looking at the safety here. I'm going to hit the 11, send the cue ball up table, and hide them with the 14. That's the plan, anyway. That's the plan, Stan. Hop on the bus, Gus. No need to discuss much. All right, that's what I did. I hit the 11, uh, sent the cue ball up table. He may have a piece of the six, but I don't think he can make it here. Let's see what he does. Let's see. Not a sponsor, guys. Not yet. Monster, call me up. Call me up, bro. Call me, you know. We'll do something. I'll jump out of an airplane for you or something. No, just kidding. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> All right. He did make a good hit on the six. He left me a shot. But instead of taking that risky shot, I decided to play him one more safety. That way I can run out a bit easier. I could have went for the 11 there, but the cue ball would have grazed it so thin it would have hit the 15, and I don't know exactly where everything would have ended up. So I thought it was safer just to play the safety there because I had a pretty good safety going. Um, and let's see if maybe I can get ball in hand, you know, and then the run out's a lot easier from there. Let's see if it works or not. I mean, he's kicking one rail. He's going to try to make it in the side. You have to call your shots here, guys, so he can't just slop it in. There he is. Got it. He missed it. I do have ball in hand. Um, and let's see. There's a lot of different ways I can go with this one. Um, looking at it right now, and I don't remember which way. Yeah. Looking at it right now, I like starting with one of those two because they're so close together. I like opening them up. And then the rest of the table has plenty of room to work. So I'm going to start with that 15. I chose to draw it, all, draw it all the way back up for the 9, which I like because the 9 is the only one that requires a lot of cue ball movement, so I might as well get it out of the way early. I'm going to make this probably with a little right and just come straight down table for the 11. Yep. There's a couple ways I can shape the 14. Um, if the 14 goes past the 8, which I don't think it does, um, it would be easy, but okay, I'm going to shoot the 14 first because the uh, 14 does not go past the 8, and if I shoot the 11 first, ooh, I miscued. I miscued and it looks like I got lucky. Man, Whew. your boys, your boys are rusty right now, man. Let's see if we can knock that rust off and get going on this match. I can tell you stick around because, you know, it's a little better than my last match for sure. <laughs> Starting to practice a little bit more. Um, I guess, I don't know if you watched my last match video, but like I said, I haven't had a lot of time to practice lately, guys, you know. Uh, I've had to go back to work full time, make a living, and uh, leaves very little time for practice. But I have been squeezing in some practice time. He missed the kick and scratch, so I do have ball in hand off my lucky miscue safe. But I'm putting in more practice time, guys, so my stroke's starting to feel a little bit better again. Um, we'll get it back up, you know. It just takes work, man. It's not like riding a bike, playing pool's not. If you quit doing it, you'll still remember, but you won't execute as nice, you know. You got you to gotta practice daily to execute at the top of your game. That's just facts. You got to practice every day. And not just hit balls. You have to actually focus on your stroke and think about what you're doing when you're practicing. It's not just playing games with a friend or hitting balls. Okay, so I'll make this 11 with probably a little top left spin and come up near that six ball and shoot the eight in the same pocket. It's what, I mean, it's the easiest way to go about it here. Just like that. 
speed was pretty good on that. And as long as I don't miscue or do something completely mental, which is stupid, um, should be up one nothing here, guys. I got to mark the pocket in tap league. So I've never played Marty before, so I marked the pocket. Once I get to know all these guys, I'm sure they're okay with just calling the pocket. But if they don't say that up front and I've never played them before, better believe I'm marking the pocket because I don't want them calling me a loss on some stupid bull crap like that. You know what I'm talking about, little Timmy. You've done it. You've done it before. You know, take the dub any way you can get it. You know, a lot of people are like that. Employee, you got to be careful. Gots to be careful. All right, I'm going to shoot the 14. I'll probably roll forward for the 9. Yeah, or I could shoot the 11, either or here. Um, there's a little cluster down there i got to be careful about. It's not the easiest cluster in the world. I'm talking about where my 13 ball is. It's stuck with his 5, 6. But I think where the 10 and the 15 are, I should be able to break those out. Oh, but I got to make the nine first, guys. I, I had to hit that pretty firm to put the left spin and come three rails around table for my shape. And it was, uh, I know it was, it's hard to see from the camera, but it was a pretty thin cut into the side. Um, if I hit that softer, it probably would have fell. Um, but when I hit it firm like I did, you have to be extremely accurate. And obviously I was off a little bit, you know. So the speed combined with the inaccuracy made it blah, 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 and shoot out, blah, 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 you know. You know what I'm talking about with the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, he shot the one, drifted down into his stack. And that's a good position to be in because he can start working on his pile of balls right there, his cluster. If he can make the, th the three or the five, he's looking pretty good. As long as he don't scratch here. Uh, oh, no, he put the three in my way, man. And he buried me. He buried me. Buried me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. What do I do here? I'm just looking, little Timmy. What would you do here? What do I do here? I don't know. I could make, I could hit, make contact with the nine and use draw and just get them down on this bottom rail as close as possible. Um, I think it would be like that rail over there. I'm not sure which way I'm facing on the screen. Yeah, just get them down on the bottom rail. I didn't quite get all the way to the bottom rail. I left him a couple shots here. Nothing super easy. He can cut the two, and I think he might be able to cut the seven as well. But I did leave him a couple shots, and I did not want to do that. I promise you I did not want to do that. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. You know, I'm only a skill level five here, guys. I'm going to make these mistakes. I'm going to make them. Honestly, I should be a skill level five the way I've been playing lately. So that's uh, it's not a bad thing. I have a feeling next week I'll probably be back up to a six, though, the way I played this match. Oh, he made a good, solid straight shot on that seven. But he hit the cue ball a little above center. And uh, cue ball followed the seven in. You got to be careful about that with those long straight shots. If you're not confident in using a stun or a center ball stop shot, then you need to put a little bottom on them. Just a smidge and follow through, and that'll stop you from rolling and following the cue ball in. You know, until you get used to it. Once you get used to the stun shot, you can use a center ball with a smooth stroke, and it'll stop right there. Um, but until you get used to that shot, use use a little bit of draw. It's the safest way. All right. So I bumped my 10 out of trouble, I think. If the 10 goes past the 9, I'm looking to be in pretty good shape here. I think it does. Careful with that 5 because I'm going to push it right in the way of the 8. Yeah, the 8 ball is the trickiest one here, guys. And I think looking at the table right now, the best course of action is to save the 9 ball as my key ball. Shoot that very last. And I can use it to shape the 8 up table. I can shoot the eight in the upper left pocket and I can use the nine ball to get there. Looks like that's what I'm doing. I'm saving that nine ball. So that means I'll shoot, I should probably shoot the 13 next. I'm looking at the nine now. Don't do that. Don't do that, Josh. Don't be dumb. Good job. Don't do that. Shoot the 13 next. I'll use left or outside left spin on this one. Hit it nice and easy and get myself an angle off of the 13 or the 11. I can't tell what color that is. It's the 11. Give myself an angle here. Perfect. Now I can either, depending on how much angle I have, I can either just use a little bit of draw and, and shoot it over, draw it over, 
or I can stun it with left and go two rails. That's what I did, two rails. Looks like I'm gonna end up with a good angle. That's perfect, guys. So I'll make this nine. I don't have to use any English at all here. I just have to hit it nice and easy and roll it. And the cue ball should come up right between the three, five, like that, and leave me a good shot up table on the eight. Kudos, Josh. This is feeling a little better. It's looking a little better. You know what I'm saying? I knock off some rust like the Tin Man. Oil my stuff up. I almost, almost said a bad word there, guys. Almost. It's a family channel. Can't do that. Uh, oil my stuff up. And look at me. I'm off and running now. It's two to zero because I'm almost a hero. Not really. Not really. You know, <laughs> I usually lose more than anything, but it is what it is. Now I got the break. It's two nothing. I'm picking a little hair or something off the table like a dummy. Get out of there. Get out of there, little hair. I'm going to hit the second ball this time. I didn't like that scratch Rooney before. Look, that's a solid looking break. I made a ball in the in the corner. It's still open no matter what I make. Uh, tap league is still open after the break, so I can shoot whatever I want here. I can't tell from this angle, but um, if I can shoot the three, that's what I'm looking at. If I can shoot the three, I like that because that'll get me on the one. Uh, everything else with solids is wide open. I just got to think about the eight ball. And the eight ball looks like it might go into that side pocket by where the two ball is. If I get down to the bottom right quadrant of the table, I might be able to make that eight into that side pocket. Let's see how it shakes out. I've got to worry about getting to the eight ball first. I've been having a hard time running out, you know. And that's just um, it's just the rustiness from not practicing is all it is. You know, I can see it. I just can't execute the full rack right now. I think I, I got myself a shot on this two ball here. Um, okay, I'm looking at maybe trying to get to the seven or the six next, which means I'm going to play this two ball with topspin. I'm looking at that shot on the eight now. So in my mind, on the table right now, I'm looking at a run out. And that's a good thing. That's a sign of confidence. I'm thinking I can run out. Um, I'm going to shoot that two ball with top here. Ooh, I put a little too much left. I should have. I don't think I needed the left spin there. I think straight top would have got me where I wanted. But where that 13 ball is sitting, I think the 7, I can cut it in past that 13 pretty easily. I don't think it'll be too hard. I don't think it'll be too hard, guys. Word from our sponsor, guys, short rail. Don't forget. Don't forget to get you some short rail, little Timmy, man. I mean, these, these hoodies are pretty sweet. You know, if you're a pool player, they're pretty sweet designs. It's not the same old flaming eight ball design that every other company uses. I love this design, guys. I'd love to see people wearing it too. I've ran into a few. Uh, it's awesome. I love seeing it, man. So if you want to use short rail, shortrail.com, shortrailapparel.com, or you can just click the links in my descriptions. You know, it's a lot easier that way. A lot easier. I'm actually going to do a little short video coming up soon where I'm going to give away a couple short rail shirts. Um, and I think I've got an idea for the upcoming future. I don't know. If you watch the channel frequently, you'll know I just upgraded my pool table light to a perimeter billiard light. Um, if you want a perimeter billiard light, you can get you one. Use code amateur pool. Uh, save yourself some money. But my old light was a Litman. It's a nice light, guys. It's for a seven-foot table. I'm thinking about, in the near future, giving that Litman light away to somebody randomly who orders short rail merch. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I think I might do that in the future. I'm not doing it right now, but in the very soon upcoming future, I think I'm going to give away that Litman light to somebody at random. You know, take the orders for a month, put the names in a hat, Draw a name. I already got the address because the, uh, you know, when you, when you have to ship the shirt, obviously you get the address. And I'll just reach out and tell them congratulations, bro. You know, you just won yourself a light. You just won yourself a $600 light. But that's to come. Stay tuned for that, guys. We got big plans for the channel. Uh, we got a lot of stuff coming up in the near future, so it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Good times. Fun times. You know? You know. You guys already know, man. Ah, time for my daily shot of Mucinex, guys. Oh, not a sponsor. Let me turn it around. 
yeah, congestion and sinuses have been unreal. So cheers to you guys, you know. Ah, this stuff's gross. It's gross. All right, I'm looking at that eight in the side, and I played with both nipples and didn't put it in the hole, man. It reminds me of prom night. I'm disappointed going home by myself, you know, leaving him a wide open table to run out. I could have been up 3-0. Now it's looking like I might be 2-1. to one. See what happens. I mean, he's got a pretty good-looking table here. I think he'll probably probably finish it off, but you never know. I don't know Marty very well. It's the first time I ever played him. First time I ever played the guy. Oh, that, that medicine man. The medicine man. I don't know if Monster is the best thing to wash down Mucinex medicine. Oof. It's not very good. Oh, he's trying to bank that 10. He missed it, and he left me a shot, but it's not an easy shot. We're going to try some Powerade here, guys. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, okay, I got to cut this. I'm calling it in the upper right. I've marked the pocket. It's not the easiest shot in the world here. Looks like I clutched up and got it, though. I made it. Three nothing good guys. All right. So I am currently on the hill. Marty has a goose egg for now. Um, I did talk to Marty after this game, though, and he told me he wasn't playing that great. He's anxious to play me again. He said he's wanting to whoop my arse, you know. And I said, well, I'm sure we'll, we'll do it again, you know. We're on the same league. There's only about, I think, nine teams on this league, so I will probably play him again in the very near future. So, Marty, my man, you'll get your chance. You will get your chance at redemption here. We got one rack to go, though, if I win. Otherwise, we got four racks to go if Marty wins. So let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's see what happens. All right, I'm starting with a combo, it looks like. I'm going to play the 11-15. Normally, I wouldn't advise that, but in this case, it's a pretty easy combo. Yep, and that's why I did it, because I was looking at hitting it hard. I wanted the 11 to come down and separate the 13 and 10. Instead, I put the 11 in with the 13 and 10 and made the table even harder. I just took a look, though. I think the 13 will go past the, um, what is that, the 12 ball over there? into that corner pocket so I just had to get the right shape so it looks like I can shoot it from here uh, it's not the easiest shot in the world from here but it's really all I got you know you know hey I had a little help I get by with a little help from my friends you know um, if the 10 goes in the side I think I'm looking pretty good here if the 10 goes in the side I don't think it does. I think the six is in the way. And if it doesn't, I'm looking pretty bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think if it went in the side, I think I would have done got down and, and shot it already. Uh, so I'm looking at something else that to do here, and I'm not 100% certain what. Oh, I just I called the upper right pocket, which means I'm going to bank it. I'm going to bank the 10. I'm going to try to bank the 10 to the upper right corner there. This, uh, I mean, this is one of those shots you make once in a while if you're lucky, or for me anyway. It's not an easy shot here. It's not easy being cheesy. But, hey, you know, when you get lucky, you get lucky. It is what it is. All right, so I've got a couple options here. I could try to just come straight off that bottom rail after I make the, uh, what is that, the 10 or the 12? I can't tell. But once I make that one, I could come up and hit the 11 and separate them. But if I do that, I don't know where everything's going to end up. You know, I may not get, get a shot. What I'm looking at now is if I can make the 11 into the same pocket as a 10. And I'm putting my stick there because if I use top with a little right, I would go one. I would go bottom rail, uh, side rail, and go between the two, three, hit the top rail, and come back down for the shape. I mean, it's a pretty natural path, but it's not easy. Just like that. But I think I under hit it. Under hit it. 
I still have a shot here, guys, but I did under hit that a bit. If I would have hit it a little harder, um, I would say I'm out here, but this shot is tough. But if I make the shot, the, the shape to the eight is natural. So let's see. Close. Close, but no cigar, you know? Oh, yeah, boys and girls. I'm sorry about all the sniffles and garbage, man. This, uh, man, it is what it is. I don't feel bad. I don't feel sick. It's just my sinuses and my head. Um, my nose is draining and plugged at the same time, which is the worst thing ever in the world, man. You know what? I realize I talk with my hands a lot. I do this instead of pointing straight. I hook my finger like, ah. I don't know why. I don't know. You figure it out. If you know, you tell me. I don't know why. Why ask why? Try Bud Dry. If you're old enough to remember that commercial, leave a comment. You know? <laughs> you younger folks, you young whippersnappers out there may not remember that commercial. All right. So I left Marty a real opportunity. Marty, bro. Bruh. Bruh. Yeah. That's what I mean, guys. I talked to Marty after the match, and he said, man, I just I wasn't shooting that good, you know. Um, he had some opportunities, and he just didn't uh, just didn't finish him up that good. But the good news is here, he didn't leave me a shot. I called the upper left pocket. I'm going to try to bank it up there. So it's a super tough shot. I doubt there's any chance I'm going to make this, but it's what I got to try. You know, there's not much else I can do here. I could try two rails, too, to the upper right pocket, but I like this straight back. Uh, bank a little better put left spin on it I put too much left spin on it I might have had it might have had a chance if I didn't put as much left spin on that I put left spin on the cue ball which spun the, the object ball to the right um, and I think I overspun it you know now my ooh, he shaped that four which is what he needed to do because the 11's blocking him up in that pocket he has a real good chance to get out on me here. If he can shape, if he can make the four and shape the three like that, I might be in trouble, guys. I may go from four zero to three one, you know? Here I am thinking I was clutching it up. And Marty's making a comeback. He's gonna run this out on me, it looks like. And your boy's gonna be in trouble here, man. Gonna be trouble. Reminder to guys, if you want billiard equipment, if you're looking for a new stick, case, anything like that, Alamo Billiards is your place. Uh, code Josh10, no spaces, and uh, save yourself 10% on your purchase. Now, if you're looking to buy a stick that's a couple thousand dollars, that 10% makes a big difference, guys. Even if you're looking, oh, I can't believe you missed that, man. Here I am reading commercials for you guys and missing, I'm missing, I'm missing him missing, you know? Uh, but even a few hundred dollars, you know, 10%, 10% helps, man. It helps. Oh, we're all missing. We're all missing left and right. Oh, he scratched and that's the game. He scratched. That's the game. I won finally. I finally won a match, Marty. Sorry you lost, bro, but I appreciate you letting me record and it was a pleasure playing you. Marty's a good guy um, and we will get to do it again. Everybody else out there, thanks for watching. I got another match um, that I recorded this same night, which will be out soon as well. I'm not the one playing it, but I will commentate it, and we'll see you on that one, guys. Peace.